Hi, welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're working on a 2013, it's a Hyundai Elantra. Uh, customer complaint is there's a squeaking noise coming from the uh, front of the vehicle when they turn the wheel. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. I'm going to show you what that is. It's actually, it's the, uh, the brake pads, um, the, uh, the indicator coming in contact with the rotor because the, uh, the rust lip on the rotor is so thick that it, it, it's not feasible to, uh, to machine the rotor. So we're just going to replace them with, uh, with the other ones. Uh, we are going to check the caliper slide pins to make sure that they slide properly so we don't have an issue with that. And um, we're going to replace the, uh, the, the caliper hardware too so that the brake pads slide nice and easy on the, uh, on the new uh, um, uh, rotor and the, uh, and, the, and the mounting bracket. So um, I'm going to show you what to do step by step and uh, we'll get this job wrapped up and out the door. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel and uh, give me the thumbs up. I'll show you what to do. Okay, what we're going to basically do is we need to take these screws out of the rotor right here. We need to remove them without stripping them out. So I'm going to show you a trick how I do it. Um, very simple. We're going to also come over here. We're going to remove the, uh, the bolts in the back of the uh, caliper here. These, these bolts right here, this one, as well as this one. And we're going to remove the caliper. And you'll also, underneath here, you're going to find the bolt right up underneath here. It's a 17 millimeter. This one here. And you'll also find another one down underneath here. Same thing, we're going to take out this bolt here and we're going to remove the mounting bracket uh, from the car. Um, first thing we want to do though is we want to check and make sure that this, uh, this caliper slides properly, that these slide pins are not uh, binding up or staying frozen. So uh, let's grab some tools and let's get started. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to push that caliper back in to make sure that the slide pins are working properly. What you do is you come in with a screwdriver or a pry bar and you put it in through the back right here until it comes out on this side right over here and then you just hold pressure on it. Constant pressure. And what that does is it pushes the piston all the way back in. And then what you do is you check the slide pins, you make sure the caliper slides back and forth the way it does right here, which is slides perfectly. So we know that the caliper slide pins are working properly, which is going to lubricate them, and we'll be fine. We don't need to do anything with the caliper. Then before we go any further, we're going to remove these screws right here. And the way you're going to do that is, I have at the shop here, I use an impact driver to put it on here, to hit it, to get it out. Um, that's what I use here. I know you're doing it at home, so chances are you don't have this driver. I'm going to show you how to do it without using this tool here. Basically what you do is you just take a, uh, a metal uh, punch or a drift, you put it on top of the bolt like this, and you hit it really hard with the hammer so that you can actually uh, uh, cause the, uh, the, uh, the shock to actually break the rust loose inside. So you just put it on here like this and hit it pretty hard. Same thing here, and then 90% of the time, 99% of the time, they come out pretty easily. If they don't, just take the hammer and the, ch and the driver and just hit it a couple of more times and it'll pop right out. Alright, don't lose these screws, we're going to need to put these back in later on, but now you can just relocate them off to the side. Then what we're going to do is in the back of the rotor, we're going to, I mean, I'm sorry, the back of the, uh, the caliper, we're going to remove the, uh, the uh, 13 millimeter bolts that secure it onto the, uh, onto the vehicle. They come out fairly easy. Now, if you were just changing the brake pads, I'm going to show you this real quick. If you're just changing the pads without changing the rotors, you can just take this, rotate this up like this and out of your way and then you can replace the brake pads as needed to pull them out and you can replace them. That's not the case here. We're going to be changing the, uh, the rotors because the, uh, the rotor is actually pretty rusted in the back. Okay, so this we're going to take this out. And as you can see, the brake pads are right down to nothing. There's nothing left of them. This was the indicator I'm telling you about. It is making the squeaking noise and this indicator on the other side is touching into the rotor and it's causing a squeaking noise. So I'll show you uh, the other pair from the other side, but that indicator is what's causing the squeaking on there. All right, 
Now, um, we are going to be replacing um, the rotor, so I do need to take this bracket off. Uh, I am going to take off this, um, uh, this caliper and relocate it off to the side for now. So, I'm just screwing that bolt back in just to hold it while I break this one here loose. And then once you break it loose, then you can take the two of them out. Don't lose them because you're going to need these bolts to fit it back together. All right. Then what you're going to do, you never want to let a caliper hang by itself on the ground. You've got to take the piece of wire or a rope or whatever you have and just secure the caliper up and out of the way like that. This is trash. You don't need this. The new pads come. You don't need this for the new pads. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, come into the back of the rotor again. Remember those 17 millimeter bolts I pointed out to you? You're going to take those 17 millimeter bolts out. Break them loose. Break them both loose before you do anything. Don't lose these. We're going to need to put these back in again. We are going to clean this up on the wheel just to make sure it's clean. Now, remember we were checking those slide pins? These are the slide pins. They slide nice and easy, both of them. But well, we're going to lubricate them when we put it back together. All right, so now for now, we're just going to put this off to the side. And then we're going to take this rotor off. Now, uh, the rotor itself is going to be replaced. But to get it off the co-op, sometimes they're pretty rusty. I just get back here with a pry bar. I'm going to show you where I put it. Some of them have little holes in here where you can screw a screw in. This particular one does not. So what I normally do is I go in the back like this, put the pry bar up against the mounting bracket where the caliper mounts on, and just keep slight pressure on it. You can pull it right out just like that. That's why we're changing a rotor. You see how, how thick that lip of rust is right there? And on the other side, it's even worse. All right, so we're going to take this rotor and put it off to the side right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure the face of the rotor here is nice and clean, which it is. There's no rust on here whatsoever. I know it may look like it, but I feel absolutely nothing. All right, so let's grab, grab the new rotors, and we're going to put it back together. Okay, now that we... Uh, we have our new uh, rotors. Before you put them back on the car, the new ones, you have to clean off this oily residue on here. So you just use some brake cleaner and you wipe it off. And we'll turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to remount our rotor onto here. There's only one way you can go on, line your, your bolts up that you have to hold down. Put them on here, screw it on there, and then just catch those bolts that you previously took off. Nice and tight. As tight as you can make them. They don't have to be crazy tight, but snug. All right. Next thing we're going to do is whenever you do a brake job, you want to change this hardware on here, you just pull it off like that. Same thing on the bottom here, pull it off. Make sure you don't have a lot of rust inside here, which in this case it does not. It's nice and clean. All right. What we're going to do is we'll put our new, our new hardware kit goes on. It just pushes right over the top like that. Make sure it's pushed in where it belongs. Same thing on this side here. Just take it, put it over the top like this. Push it in place. And make sure your clips are in here to hold it in place. All right, next thing we're going to do, we always lubricate these slide pins here. So you just pull these bolts out like that. Don't remove them yet. You're just pulling it out like this now.
And the reason I'm going to tell you not to remove them yet, I'm going to show you. These pins are different. One has an O-ring on it, the other one doesn't. So you're doing one at a time, you lubricate it like this, put it back in, and you pull this one out here, and you see that O-ring on there? That's why you don't want to take them off, because you'll put them in the wrong holes. All right, push it back in like that. Now, very important, when you push it in, you have to make sure it pushes all the way back in and that rubber boot pops back up like that. All right, next thing we're gonna do, every place that the brake pad touches, is going to get grease on it. It's going to touch here and here. Put some grease on it like this. This is special grease made just for brakes. You can't use regular grease. You have to use, yes, I think this is synthetic grease. Anywhere that the brake pad touches, you lubricate. And now we're going to reinstall the mounting bracket back onto the car. You just hold it over the top. And you screw both bolts in the top. Catch them both before you tighten it up. Screw them in as tight as you can by hand, and then you can tighten it up with the ratchet the rest of the way. and tight. The same thing on the top then. Tighten that up all the way through. Make sure it's nice and tight. All right, and we're going to take our new brake pads. Now, remember when we took these off, you had this indicator right on here. You have to make sure you put the, the right pad in the right spot. So, As you can see, the indicator is in the correct location. Okay, so we're going to put this one on the inside because, as you can see, that was on the inside. So now we're going to put our brake pad in here. brake pad we're going to put that one on too. This one has the indicator for the inside and this one has no indicator at all. So we're going to put one on that does not have an indicator either. All right? Put this in here like this and push it right back where it belongs and you can see with it lubricated everything slides nice and easy the way it's supposed to. Okay? Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our caliper that we've relocated to the side and we're going to put it back over the top where it belongs. Now, as you can see, this one pushed right on where it's supposed to because we pushed that piston all the way back in. But if by chance the piston didn't push in far enough, you're going to need to push the piston back in further. And the way you do that is you take your brake pads, you put them in here like this, and like this, you take a tool like this, which is a brake um, piston reseat tool. You put it in here like this, and you turn it like that, and it pushes the piston in just that little bit more so that you can get it over the top of the caliper. That's not the problem here. It's, uh, it's pushed back in far enough because we pushed it in uh, before we did anything before, remember how we used that, uh, that screwdriver or that pry tool, the pry bar, to recess the piston all the way, so we don't have to worry about that, all right? Okay, put, but this goes over the top now, and you just push your slide pins in, just so you can get this over the top, and then you catch both of your bolts and tighten them up by hand. And you can bring your ratchet over and tighten those two uh, 
14 millimeter screws up. Nice and tight. And again, nice and tight here. Now, I just want to point out, just in case you're trying to tighten this up and you can't tighten it, it's sliding for some reason, don't worry about it. It's basically what happens is that that bolt right there, you see this nut in the back right there? This is where your caliper mounts onto. Sometimes that piece there rotates. And if that's the case, what you would basically do is just put a thin wall uh, wrench on the top of it like this to hold it to keep it from rotating. That's not the case here. It tightened right up. But just in case you try to tighten this and it doesn't tighten up, then you can just hold this wrench onto here to keep it from turning. All right? So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. All right, let's recap what we did. We have the, uh, the new rotor mounted on. We tightened up both of our screws here. We also went into the back of the rotor over here. We mounted up the, the mounting bracket. We tightened that bracket right there, that's 17 millimeter. We also did the exact same thing down on the bottom right up underneath here. We tightened that 17 millimeter. And then we tightened up our, our uh, bolts on the caliper here and here and that's it we're all set we lubricated everywhere that the brake pad touches is lubricated so we're all set all right next thing we're going to do go to the other side and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side so uh, let me just show you what that brake pad looked like now let me get it okay remember i talked to you about that squeaking noise it was getting that indicator was actually touching into the rotor and it was causing the squealing noise. You can see how the end is so shiny. That's what the squealing noise is all about. It was touching into the rotor and causing a loud squealing noise as it, as it rotated and rubbed up against the, uh, the brake rotor. All right, so um, that's it. We're pretty much all set. Everything is all wrapped up. Um, we're going to put the other side back together. We're going to wrap the job up, get it out the door, and uh, that's it. We're all set. All right, thanks for watching. Questions or comments, you drop me a line. Be more than happy to talk to you about anything. As always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.